Hi everyone! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Today is day five of um, the five day manifesting challenge. I am so excited to be here today. This is, I love every day. Every day I'm like, this is my favorite day. <laughs> I just love all of this, I guess. <laughs> So I wanted to show you something really cool. I was outside and I have recently, um, my video setup is now falling apart right now. I have recently um, planted a bunch of herbs and flowers. Hey Sid, how's it going? First one on again, woo woo. <laughs> my computer is like falling. Okay, I got it. So I was outside, so I had planted some herbs and some flowers and things like that. And uh, this morning I was cleaning out my cat box and uh, I decided to water the flowers and stuff too. So I was like hanging out in the front yard and look what I found. Isn't that so pretty? So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I always get so excited <laughs> when I find feathers. <laughs> Okay, so how did it go yesterday? How was surrender? Is there anything that feels challenging for you? Were there any ahas or insights? Um, how are you feeling about all of it? Um, are there any questions too? Um, I feel like it's kind of the most complicated. It seems so simple, but it's actually quite complicated. It's, it's definitely the part that I've struggled in this whole process. Um, one thing I wanted to do real quick, just like we did yesterday, I thought it was really fun, is just to kind of read out some of the things um, that people posted yesterday for their action step. And so yesterday's action step was one thing I'm letting go of. So everybody posted in the group, one thing I'm letting go of. And here are some of the answers. Expectations that are not verbally agreed upon by all persons involved. And assuming things should go a certain way or people should act a certain way. Hey, Amber! How's it going? Um, I'm letting go of expectations I have of how I should be feeling. Instead of being upset and frustrated about having a migraine, I'm accepting that I have one right now and I'll do what I can to subside the pain and it'll eventually pass when it's ready. Love that so much. Letting go of drama, walking into my best life right now and help, helping others walk with me. Woo, woo. Letting go of time expectations. I have a tendency to want to function from a place of urgency. I'm choosing to now function from a place of urgency and trust, knowing that all good things happen in divine time. I've seen it happen in my life before and I trust that it can happen again. Woo woo. Good job, everybody. Amazing, amazing answers. Um, uh, I love reading your guys' answers in the group. It's always so good. Sid says, it's really difficult for me to surrender to fear. It's been helpful to remind myself that the anxiety is there to help me, but the fear is challenging. Yeah. So did you find any of those techniques that I talked about yesterday helpful? Noticing the fear, forgiving the thought, and choosing again. Like, consciously choosing a different thought. Let me know if that's helpful for you. Um, okay, perfect. So go ahead and leave in the comments below um, what came up for you yesterday. Are you finding anything challenging? Did you have any ahas? And anything about yesterday, feel free to put it in the chat below. And we are going to start talking about taking aligned action. So we're really good at taking action, <laughs> right? We even have a term now for hustling or hustlers, you know, people who are like taking intense, crazy action all the time. And, and this is, um, this is taught, um, in a lot of circles in terms of how to get what we want. Um, it's, it's been taught to us our whole lives, even, you know, when we're little and we're going to school and we're given like a whole ton of homework, right? So we're kind of taught this from a young age, but even in the coaching industry and in the self-help and self-development industry, they talk about pushing and pushing and pushing and just doing all of the, all of the things. And, um, and 
I think that we're forgetting the 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 support from the universe when we're pushing in this way and um, it, it's almost coming from this place of desperation or this place of fear or this place of uh, scarcity right um, so anyway this today is all about spiritually aligned action so this isn't about pushing and seeing how many things we can get done and trying to do all of the things all of the time this is all about slowing down listening to spirit or intuition or your higher self and deciding what is the one best step today towards manifesting or reaching our goals um sid says choosing a different thought helps realign my thoughts to something more positive yay that's awesome um yeah just keep practicing it little bit by little bit keep me updated let me know how it goes okay so we are so used to outsourcing what we should do so we may take action from other people so we're asking people over and over like what should I do here what should I do there so we're outsourcing all of these actions that we're taking um, and we may feel like we're pushing and we may feel tired and overwhelmed so a really good example of this was in my coaching school. They said, okay, to run a coaching business, you have to do X, Y, and Z. And if it doesn't work, just keep doing it. Just do it again and again and again and again. And, um, and I also had a, um, a business coach. So my business coach was very much strategy driven. So it was all about strategy, strategy, strategy. There was no intuitive coaching involved in it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about getting support and getting coaching later on today. But, you know, uh, when you when you're just being told what to do, those actions may not be aligned for you those not only for you, but for your audience or for, you know, what what you're trying to do, or uh, I mean, I'm talking about business coaching there, but um, you know, um, somebody could be telling you, maybe you're trying to become physically fit and they're telling you the way that it worked for them. Like, oh, I got fit by doing X, Y, and Z. And you try it, but your body is completely different than theirs. You might even be a different gender than them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like our physiology is so much different than the person who's next to us. Uh, and um, so if they're telling us how they got fit, it may not work for us. And we can try those things, but if we were to tap into um, what was best for us, if we're to tap into our intuition, uh, we would find aligned actions that were just right for us, our specific body, our specific body type. Um, okay, so this kind of pushing mindset, I think, really just leads us back to lack from separation, from scarcity. It tells the the universe that we don't believe that they that the universe is bringing to us what we want. It's almost like if we order an Amazon package and then we start driving to the Amazon warehouse to come pick it up, right? We're like, I don't trust you to deliver my product, so I'm going to go drive over there and I'm going to go get it. I feel like it's kind of like that. Um, and so... How do we take spiritually aligned action? Um, so first and foremost, we want to make sure that our dreams are guided by service and inspiration, right? And so we talked about this a little bit before. So is our dream going to serve others or ourselves or our families? And if it's not, that's okay. Is it going to bring us joy? Because that is in service of the entire planet. Anytime we can bring joy into our lives, um, that uh, is in service to the people around us. And um, there's such a ripple effect that it affects, uh, it, it affects the entire world. Um, and so the first and foremost is to just kind of check in. Okay, what is it? Is it of service? Uh, is this going to bring me joy? And then the second step is to just believe. To believe that it's on its way. Um, it's part of surrender, right? So, um, read your vision, connect fully with the joy, the service, the love, um, with full belief that it's going to happen. And if you happen to feel that resistance, like when you're reading your vision, if you feel like, 
some sort of resistance come up. Connect back with the service and the joy. So you're gonna go backwards a step to the service and the joy, and then connect with the vision, make sure you're believing, um, uh, and so on and so forth. And then take all of your actions towards this goal in spiritual alignment. So here's some techniques. So spiritual alignment is really like the only thing we are doing in this process. The only doing thing is believing what we need to believe to receive this manifestation and stepping into the version of us that has this manifestation. So for example, I want to become strong and fit, right? I used to be able to do pull-ups. I used to be really fit. I used to uh, train all the time. And I would like, to, maybe not quite that fit, but I would like to um, work on my fitness. And so I know that when Sunny was fit, she was exercising, she was strength training, she was concentrating on eating um, foods that made her feel good. Um, and so I know that to become that version of me, some of the steps that I need to do are to strength train. I need to start strengthening these muscles. I need to start exercising more. I need to start eating um, foods that made me feel good and getting away from, you know, gluten and some of those other foods that don't make me feel good. Um, and so really it's all about stepping into that version of you. Um, the version of you that has a million dollars. This version of you has to believe that making money is easy, right? Otherwise you're going to like kill yourself trying to get a million dollars. This version of you has to, um, have an idea that supports a lot of people and helps people with a problem so that they're going to be willing to give give you money for that, right? Um, this person is likely a business owner. I don't know a whole lot of people with a million dollars who work for other people. Um, and so these, these are kind of some of the things that I would know, like if I want a million dollars, I need to open a business. That business needs to help a lot of people. It needs to be... Um, uh, a, a very um, successful business, you know, so all of those things have to come in place before I have that million dollars. Um, so really looking at the only things we're doing is believing and thinking and living in the way that we would if we were in that position, whatever it is that you're manifesting. Um, so some techniques to get in this spiritual alignment and to get inspiration and, um, and uh, answers from your spirit guides or your higher self or something like that. Um, one of uh, a really simple thing to do is just every morning when you get up, ask yourself, what's one thing I can do today to bring me closer, closer to my goal? And there's always going to be an idea that pops up. There's always going to be something that comes to your head. So get quiet. What could I do today? What's one thing I could do today to get me closer to my goal? And you can even be more specific about your goal. What's one thing I can do today to um, help me manifest a million dollars? And then whatever comes up is what you do, right? And this is so simple. Um, it's talked about in a lot of different, you know, books. Um, I'm, I'm not sure the source. Um, I, I was told it from a coaching program that I took. Um, another one is listen to your intuition. So I have a funny story. Yesterday I was driving over to a store and on the, so nobody's wearing masks here. Um, and I am fully vaccinated. So I tend to not wear masks either. And I was driving to the store and, uh, it's just like a little small mom and pop joint, like little farmer's market. And, um, one, one person working there and I had a feeling it was going to be small like that too, but for whatever reason I'm driving and it pops in my head, you need to wear a mask. A lot of times in the past, I would have just ignored it. I would have just been like, what the heck? <laughs> but I have learned that those little things that pop into my mind, those little pieces of inspiration are intuition. And so I wore a mask. I went into the farmer's market. I had my mask on. The guy looked at me like I was crazy. I didn't care. <laughs> I don't know if he has COVID, but <laughs> my intuition told me to do it. So I just did it. So listen to your intuition. These little things happen all the time. How many times have you been 
warned about, I'm not talking about big things either, just like little things, like uh, almost like uh, uh, something, this, this used to happen to me a lot, like it would pop into my mind, did you turn off the water outside? And I'd just like brush it off and I'd be like, what, what the heck? <laughs> of course I did, but then I hadn't. <laughs> Right? So just listening to that, like checking on it, listening to it, following it. Um, maybe uh, the intuition is going to be uh, somebody's name pops into your head. Or um, here's here's something funny. I was cruising on Facebook one day and um, this... Uh, this uh, woman that I've I've been friends with for a while and um, seen her work and everything, she one of her posts popped up on my feed and I was like, oh, I need to reach out to her, and I didn't do it. And then later that day, <laughs> she messaged me on Facebook, and so you know that was my intuition saying, hey, listen, <laughs> since I didn't listen, <laughs> um, spirit uh, went went through her, and so uh, she reached out to me. So sometimes you're just going to, uh, somebody is just going to come into your head, reach out to them when that happens, uh, send a quick message, uh, make a quick phone call, um, say hello. Um, maybe if you're a business owner, um, you're going to get an idea pop into your head, like launch a new special or make a social media post about X or whatever. Do those things, like do those things quickly at, at the very least, have a little notebook where you can jot those ideas down. Um, in, in this coaching course that I took, it was all about honoring your intuition, right? And so I had a little intuition journal and everything, no matter what, I would just write it down. I would never write anything off because that is coming from spirit. That's coming from my higher self. That is guidance. So when we honor the guidance that we're, that we're receiving, um, even if we don't take it, right? Like even maybe it's something big, like it's like launch a new program about this, that, and that, and you know that this is going to take hours and hours worth of work. So you sit with it and you decide that it's not for you. That's okay. Um, but just to honor it and just to say, you know, like this, this was an idea from, from, from spirit. Um, and the, as you are tuning into your vision over and over, you, these ideas are just going to come as you're believing in your vision, as you're believing that these things are going to come to you, these little intuitive nuggets are just going to pop into your brain. And, um, yeah, like I said, if it's a small thing, just, just follow it, just do it. Um, if it's a big thing, you just write it down and think about it and maybe you won't want to do it and that's okay too. Um, I think I've mentioned this in every single video, meditate, 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 <laughs> start a regular meditation practice. Even if it's five minutes a day, start regularly meditating. This will help you. You will be meditating and these ideas will come to you. Um, oh, uh, I wanted to get a new job doing blah. And then I'm sitting in meditation and then it's like, oh, you need to reach out to John. You know, John hires people who do that. And that's something that you hadn't thought of. You know, these things will, um, pop into your head during meditation. Using Oracle cards can be great. One of the things that I love about Oracle cards is they help think of things in a different way. So if I ask a question and I pull a card and then I read the card from the basis of the question, it allows me to see that question from a different perspective. And this is definitely something I think about coaches as well. Coaches help provide different perspectives on lots of different areas. Um, and so having an amazing coach to help you is really handy too. And one thing about coaches I'll give you a little bit of uh, my criteria when I'm hiring a coach. Number First and foremost, they have to be certified. I really like them to be mastery certified. And like I was talking about that business coach, right? That business coach just gave me a ton of strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. I would get on a call with her. You need to do this, that, and the next thing. And it never felt right. And it always felt like it was pushing. And uh, I didn't get anything out of it. I did not get what I hoped to get out of that program. And I think part of it is because it's it's not the intuitive sort of coaching. And so uh, my coach, I think she's here in the group. She's not doing this challenge, but my coach Sally is super intuitive. And um, she helps me connect with my intuition instead of telling me what I need to do. 
And so finding a coach that can help you connect with your intuition and still call you out on your BS, because we all have blind spots, we all have stuff going on, um, can be really, really valuable. Um, also getting readings, you know, getting card readings, using, doing your own card readings, um, just f finding these different perspectives and, and looking at things from different ways. Um, but here is the thing I want you guys to take away from today. Um, and that is that you have all the answers. You have all the answers on how to get this thing within yourself. You do not need anybody else. Now, maybe you want somebody, like you want a coach or, or you want to buy a reading or maybe you even want to get like a, an astrological reading or something like that. Like, yes, yes, you can do those things, especially if they're going to help you connect with your intuition. But just know that you have all the answers within you. You don't need any outside source to do this. We are literally created or we are put onto this earth to create. Um, and especially as women, I feel like we have even more creative power. We have our four phases of our cycle. We have, um, we have uh, a deep connection with the moon that we can use to create. Um, and so on and so forth. And, and we, we just, I mean, we, we have the babies, we literally create new life and, um, we are capable too of creating all, all sorts of things, um, in this world. I believe that we are all creators, men and women, but I think that women kind of have, have a special connection to creation. Um, okay. So I'd love to hear what you think about taking spiritual action. Um, if you haven't already watched the videos on intuition, they are in the guide section. And there's two videos that I've done so far that are all about connecting to your in intuition, connecting to your spirit guides. Those can be really handy for this step. Um, and so I'd love to hear what you're taking away today. Um, what sounded um, like, uh, what, what was inspiring for you today? And since some of you guys weren't here, I wonder who's here. I know Amber and Sid are here, but there's three people here. So send me a wave. Let me know that you're here. Um, I showed Sid when, at the very, very beginning of this video, but look at what I found today. <laughs> I was, I was in the yard because I just planted some herbs and some flowers and, um, I was walking through the yard and, and I found this feather. I, I always think of feathers as signs. So I'm curious what you're taking away today. What resonates with aligned action? Um, how can we stop pushing and start to start stepping like little tiny baby steps, right? Just like little aligned steps. Paige says she's got this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, and this, I was going to post a picture of this on the video that Paige put in the group. But look, this is what I got from Paige. She sells crystals. And I got this from her. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. I just, seriously, I just like saw it on my feed when she posted it and I just had to have it. I was like, I swiped it up. Like the second I saw it, I was like, oh, buying that. <laughs> she also sent a really pretty bracelet. I was wearing it the other day in my video. Okay, so any other takeaways before we end today? Um, <laughs> thanks for all the hearts, Paige. <laughs> and thanks for the amazing crystal. Like, look at this, guys. I love rough crystals. I don't know about you guys, but, um, I actually think that these are the same. Maybe Paige, you can let me know if these are the same stone. Um, but I love like the rough crystals more than like the smooth, polished sort of, I feel like, uh, there's something special about the rougher crystals. Um, Sid says, asking myself every morning what I can do to get closer to my goal is super inspiring and motivating to me. Yes, I love that. I love that. It's so, it's so easy. It's fun. It's easy. What, you're doing one thing every day to get you closer to your goal. Um, yeah, Paige, I thought, I thought so too. Like very similar in color. It's got kind of the same. I think they're the same. Um, okay. So for your assignment today, obviously there's the guidebook. Um, we talk a little bit about, um, uh, whether or not your dream is, uh, 
um, for service? Uh, who will benefit? Will it bring you joy? What do I need to do to become a vibrational match? How, what are some ways to raise my vibration? And in the Facebook group, um, you're going to post one small step I'm taking is. So I'm going to post the prompt for that in the group right now as we end this call. And I look forward to seeing what you guys post. I will be here tomorrow at the exact same time. I'm going to be doing an announcement for the winner of the Divine Feminine Creation. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Divine Feminine Creation, um, go into a little bit more detail as to what that entails. Um, I'm so excited to be offering it and at such an amazing price right now. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow for a little bit of a wrap up. Um, and just know that you don't have to do all of these things all of, all at once. Um, this is a condensed five day program to help you be mindful of all of these areas and to kind of see how this like fits in for you. Um, but just choose one, one thing, you know, one thing every day. Maybe that's meditation. Maybe that's asking yourself, what's one thing I can do, um, for my goal. You know, like little baby steps, uh, is all it takes to, to make huge shifts. So anyway, Thank you so much for coming to day five. I'm so excited and I will see you guys tomorrow for the wrap up party.